right welcome to my channel um i'm going to be making the loft hatch or at attic door hatch for um the folly grandpa's folly i've already cut out part, I've, I've done a template and i think i'm going to do it two and a half by three inches i've already cut mitered the corners of the oops what do i kick there yep kicked my set square which is under the table um, I've mitered the corners of these and I'm going to be gluing them together I actually want to just make a bit of a give myself a bit of a template so that I can make sure I get it square And I got some one, two, three blocks for Christmas. So I'm just going to go and get those so that I can use them as weights. Sometime later, <clears throat> after clearing out my glue bottle, because it was completely clumped up, <clears throat> I now have glue to use. I'll just use it on the edges. That piece would be bowed, wouldn't it? <sighs> Gluing things together is never as easy as other people as it looks when other people do it. I end up with glue all over my fingers nothing sticking and to be honest a complete and utter disaster so i'm going to have to go back to the drawing board and try again obviously if i did patience it would have worked you can tell i was getting very frustrated with this um, probably because i didn't have the patience to actually let the glue dry uh, i kept fiddling around and instead of just letting one piece at a time dry i wasn't letting it so i'm trying a different technique here and to be honest that didn't really work either i wasn't completely happy with it well boy was did i have fun and games with this anyway i went back to the drawing board i gave up trying to video it because it was driving me insane and what i have done is i made a new frame i made little hinges with um, foil from a pan I put in a little hook because that's how a lot of the loft hatches are in the UK and it's going to go in like that and I don't mind that it doesn't quite fit because a lot of them don't so I want it to kind of look a little bit wobbly and I'm going to glue that in and then I'm going to paint it so yeah it's just a false it's a false latch door because um, attic hatch loft hatch yeah a false loft hatch because obviously there's no hole in the roof and i don't plan on making one but yeah i think that's that's going to be it this was my other attempt but i just wasn't happy with it it ended up actually sticking together which was surprising because i didn't think it was going to but i might be able to use that for something else i don't know but i wasn't happy with it um, and this i had well, i went back and had a look at my loft hatch and this looks a bit more like it so that will be what's going on the wall uh, on the ceiling rather so yeah i'm going to paint that and i will install that later right so i've made um the loft hatch i haven't glued it together yet but uh, it will fit in like that. I might try and make it look slightly more yellowy so that it matches the roof. But all I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue the two pieces together. And I don't mind if there's a bit of a gap because it will look more authentic that way. So yeah, so that's what I'm going to do next. But uh, I might just see if I can find uh, some paint to make it look slightly more yellowy. Or perhaps I might mix some 
Mod Podge gloss with some sort of yellowy white paint. I haven't quite decided yet. I have to do some experimenting. Here is the finished loft hatch. I've tried to sort of make it a little bit dirty in places as if, you know, they've grabbed hold of the corners and obviously with the little catches. Um, it's got little hinges. So yeah, that's ready to go on the roof. In hindsight, and I might make another one yet, I'm wondering if I made another one that actually did hinge open, but the underneath was solid black with a, if I had it down with a little ladder going up, it would look like it was actually going up into a dark loft. So I might try that. I might make another one and uh, see whether that would sort of give an indication of a dark loft. But anyway, this one will do for the time being. And uh, yeah, we're going to put it inside the folly. I have fitted the loft hatch in the bathroom. Grandpa is currently looking up at it, trying to work out how on earth, he's got his hands on his hips, he's trying to work out how on earth he's going to get up to it. Um, he's wondering whether he needs a step ladder or his normal ladder. So we will have to see. Now, of course, eventually I will have to strip the ceiling. It's still got some remnants of black paint, uh, black, green paint on it. So I will um, tidy up that in the spring, summer, when I can do the sanding and stuff outside. Excuse Peter and Simon, they're playing. Um, but yeah, there's the loft hatch. And I'm quite pleased with that. As I say, uh, I may try and do one where it comes down and it looks like he's going up into a dark loft. Um, I might try that. But in the meantime, that will suffice. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. And I uh, hope this may have inspired someone, or more than one, to make a loft hatch in their house. As I say, it doesn't have to be real. It can be a pretend one like this one is. Uh, so that you don't alter the integrity of the house. don't know if that's quite the right word. Uh, anyway, that's the word I've used. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching. And we'll catch you another time. Bye. Thank you.